good morning everyone. Here in uh, North Attleboro, in my parking spot from the house. Just getting ready to take off. Doing my free trip right now. Making sure everything is good. Oh, by the way, it's a Tuesday the 10th, I believe. It's good in there. No one messes with it. All the lights are working. Yeah, Foxborough is right down there about two and a half miles, Gillette Stadium. So, yeah, you gotta load. Let me get past this truck and I'll tell you. I don't know where we're going to be going there but so let's get on the road and hope head over to uh, Wadbury pick that load up we're about two hours away so come along Holland, one of the new trailers. So, let's get the landing gear up.
Alrighty, let's go. Pull this forward. Close the doors. Get the heck on out of here. Get my nifty handy gloves out here. guys in the holder. moving one. So we are in We're in the mills. Hundred and six gallons, just like they asked. So let's get some depth. gallons of death and 106 gallons of diesel. I could put more diesel in but fuel solution only said 106 gallons here so that's what we did. Definitely can feel the weight difference in these trailers. In these new ones so just making sure all the tires are good and we're gonna get on down the road. If you're interested in coming to Millis, the MTI school, our locations, and the phone number to call. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 
the OELD electronic log says we can leave I got my pre-trip in I don't know how well you can see it but this is why I park on the end here if you can see there's my finger there's a truck right there there's three trucks that are legally parked and eh, there's another one down there you can't really see it but this is why I park on the end so I can get a straight shot right out it's just before um, just before 4 a.m. on Wednesday the 11th of March made it to the Flying J in Brookville last night um, so we got about 600 miles to go today about nine and a half hours we should be at there about um, I don't know we should be at there by 2 2 30 at the very latest today so let's get on the road hello everyone I don't know how well this is focused. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. 449 miles. I did that in 6 hours and 40 minutes. Just stopped to do my 30 here at the um, last um, service plaza on the 8090 in Indiana, in Portage, Indiana, actually. No, I'm going to finish my 30 minute break, get something to eat. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Here at the Loves on 39 in Illinois, um, just before the Wisconsin border. A little change of plans. We were going to deliver this, drop it in Richfield, but decided um, to take it to the final. I guess they um, want the product to go there sooner than later. So I'm going to get up in the morning, try not to step on dog poop here. And um, get up early in the morning and deliver this load. So it's about another extra hundred miles on this trip. So that's good. Went in for me. Can't complain there. So and then um, dispatch is looking for a load for me that I can grab early in the morning. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. But uh, just a little update here at the Loves. Gonna go start editing this video of what I got so far and just hang on and chill. Um, about eight and a half hours of driving today, 575 miles. So, excuse me, that was rude of me, burping on camera here. But it's a good day of running. Not a lot of traffic, mostly on the eye, on the interstate. So, well, I'm gonna go hunker down and um, start editing. We'll check in with you guys later on. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm not going to look at the camera, but we are on our way over to West Allis to the drop yard to pick up a load of beer. We delivered our load in Finnemore, Wisconsin, over on the Iowa border this morning. About a quarter of six central time. They didn't have a pre plan for me, so I need to bust my getting over there. And I'm burning my 14, so hey. Uh, we're on our way here on 151 and towards Madison and then uh, we're going to get on 94 East on uh, Madison, take that over to West Dallas and we'll be at our yard in West Dallas and there should be a load of beer there from Miller Coolers or Monson Brewery or I don't know what they named it now, but Boltson, I think it's Boltson Brewery. Bolts and coolers. I don't know. I put a little description right here um, of what the new name is. But hey, that's what we're doing. Then we're going to take that down to Albany, Georgia. Down to South Georgia. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can put that in there tomorrow night. And uh, that'll put me about 2,300 miles, just over 2,300 for the week. on the next load and hopefully be able to put that in by Monday night. So we'll have a damn good week of running. 
that's the plan right now, but I'm going to Albany pretty slow down there, so we'll see what happens. 